for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Joe Biden continues to lie to the American people about his role in his family's businesses. In 2020, he stood up on stage of a presidential debate and told the American people that his family didn't take any money from China. That was a lie. Not only was it a lie, he knew it was a lie. He knew it because he met with his son, Hunter Biden's Chinese business associates. I want to talk about CEFC, which is the China Energy Fund Committee. Mr. Bobolinsky, who is Chairman Yi? Chairman Yi was the chairman of CEFC. Thank you. Jim Biden told the FBI and IRS that Chairman Yi was the protege of Xi Jinping, the leader of China and the Chinese Communist Party. Mr. Bobolinsky, Rob Walker told this committee that Joe Biden met Chairman Yi. Are you aware of that? Yes or no? I am now. I wasn't at the time. And Joe Biden also met with you. Is that right? Yes, he did. Twice. Who, who is Director Zhang? Director Zhang was uh, the number two at CFC. The executive director of CFC, the number two? Yeah, he was the number two executive, but really the point person that uh, I worked with and the Biden family worked with. And he's the individual that Hunter Biden was shaking down at the end of July 2017, demanding that they fund the uh, $10 million. They ultimately sent five, but $10 million directly to Hunter Biden's account, Owasco. Thank you, Mr. Bobolinsky. I want to show you a text message that Hunter Biden sent to you and his other business associates. I'm holding it right here. I'll read it to you. Hey, Tony, I have an idea. In light of the fact we are at an impasse of sorts and both James lawyers and my chairman gave an emphatic no, I think we should all meet in Romania. He's speaking about my chairman. When Hunter Biden came in for his deposition, he said that he was referring to Chairman Yi and that the rest of your group referred to Zhang as a different chairman. Does this make any sense to you? Th that's a lie. I never heard Director Zhang reference as chairman, <clears throat> and I had direct com communications with Director Zhang over WeChat, <clears throat> met him in Romania, met him in Moscow, met him around the world in New York, trying to develop this business, and he was never referred to as the chairman, first of all. Second of all, that makes absolutely no sense in the context of this message because we are discussing Oneida Holdings, LLC. Thank you. Chinese so he was not the chairman, just to clarify. Yes, Correct. Or no? Okay. So I want to show you another text. When he said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. This is from Rob Walker. It didn't seem to make much sense to Rob Walker either. So he said that when Hunter, he said this to you, when Hunter was talking about his chairman, he was talking about his dad. When Rob Walker came in to give his transcribed interview to the committee, he basically said, well, Hunter was high or confused or mad. And Rob Walker said that he was just trying to calm things down between you and Hunter. But that doesn't really answer the question about who Hunter Biden is talking about. Hunter Biden lied to this committee. So here, clearly, he says, Rob Walker's saying he's talking about his dad. So I want to be very clear. We've established that Zhang is not the chairman, obviously. Is that correct? Yes or no? Correct. Let me show you another message. This message doesn't call Zhang Chairman Zhang, does it? It just says the Chinese want to do business with the Bidens. As a matter of fact, it says, both coming to be my partner, to be partners with the Bidens, with an S. He, Zhang, is implied, has implied that the number one has made it clear and available to him. Who is the number one? The number one is Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, the president of China? That's yes or correct. no? The leader of the Communist Party, the CCP? Yes. Is the number one? Yes, that's the number one that Hunter was referencing in that message. Now, let's be very clear. This was in 2017, but I would like to make it known for this committee uh, that Joe Biden told the press in 2016... As a matter of fact, he, I quote, yeah, I am. I am going to run in 2020. He told the press in 2016 that he was running for president of the United States in 2020. So here is 
the Bidens doing business in China in 2017 when everybody knew he was planning to be president of the United States. Do you see that to be a serious problem, Mr. Bobolinsky? I do, and I wish this committee would thoroughly investigate it and focus on all the evidence that the SDNY has on CFC. They had FISA warrants, so they were recording conversations, and I wish they disclose all that data and fact to this committee. Thank you, Mr. Bobolinsky. I yield, Mr. Chairman. Gentlelady, yield.